Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Here you should begin your friendly coding tutorials on Scratch, Roblox, Minecraft, web programming, and many more. Today we are going to create a Plants vs Zombies game. So this is the game for the Scratch, uh, Plants vs Zombies game. So when I click the green select button, when I press the up and down console, and then press the space key bar, uh, it will kill the zombie, right, like that, and then there's a, another plant. And when I click 2, it will kind of kill the zombie as well. So, well, since we're using Scratch, Scratch is actually a website that allows us to create animations and games using block-based coding. So the game we create utilizes conditionals, motion, keyboard events, and variables. So, let's get started. So now we can start coding inside our Scratch template you can find in the description box below. So open the template, you can see that um, there's already the sprite, the background, and then everything is well designed. Uh, we're going to move on to our coding instead. So first of all, uh, go to our variables. We're going to make three variables, which is the three zombies. So zombie. And then zombie two, and then zombie three, like that. So we created three variables. Okay, so in order to not blocking our sprites, we're just gonna move all of these four or the bottom of our screen, like that. So we can see their health at the bottom of our screen. All right. After our variable. Uh, we will start coding starting with our chomper. So inside our chomper, uh, first of all, click, drag the one green select click, and then next thing we're going to do is actually go to X and Y. So make sure that every time when we opened our app, our game, it's on the same position, and then drag it forever, loop. Inside this for loop, we have three conditions, so three if then. Inside of first, we're just going to get the if key up arrow first, so which means if the up arrow is first, uh, which is going up, so that's why we're just going to move our y by 10. If it's not, which is if the down, down arrow is pressed, Our chomper, we're just gonna move down. So we change y by negative 10. Nope. Negative 10, like that. And when space key is pressed, which means if it's shooting some balls, okay, we're just going to broadcast a new message. Let's call shoot. Let's call it shoot. Like that. Alright. So we finished our chomper. Now we're going to move on to our plant actually. Uh okay, so inside our plant, uh they have very similar actions, which is like moving up and down and it shoots some balls out. So inside this one we're just gonna click when green flag is clicked again, and then go to the X and Y in this position. Afterwards, we're going to drag the forever loop again, and then three if then. Now, for the plant key, since we don't want it to crash or duplicate with the chomper, uh, we will just do another keys. So instead of up down, we are just going to get the W for up arrow. So change Y by 10. And if the S key s is pressed so we're going to change y by negative 10 again oh this is change x okay so and then for the space key uh we are going to change it to two number two when the two key is pressed we want to broadcast message so since like they are shooting in different balls so there's like ball and ball too 
of bosses represent S uh, is for plant and ball is associated with chomper. So that's why they need two different broadcast message. So a new message shoot two like that. All right. So this is um, both the plant and the chomper. Moving on to our zombies. So first of all, our first zombie, this one. So uh, we're going to drag the when green flag is clicked. And then uh, we want it to start at this position. Uh, they started that. So go to X and Y like that. Oh, don't remember to show the zombie first. So like that. And then Y. Uh, so for Y, uh, we can actually pick some random uh, integers for that. So it's just going to pop it in a different position. So from a range from 140 to 140, negative 140 to 140. And then drag the forever loop again. Now, we want the, um, we want our zombie to always point in direction, negative 90, and then move towards the left side, uh, and wait for a couple seconds. So actually I have one, less than one second. So point in direction, negative 90. So on your left side, and then move. From a random, let's say two to five steps. Two to five. So afterwards, uh, wait for zero point eight seconds. And then this is how the zombie walk. Uh, the other code we have to get is when when flag is clicked is when they um hit the ball. So. When green flag is clicked, first of all, we're going to set our score of zombie to 100 first, so which is the health, uh, that's maximum health. And we're going to do another forever loop. Inside this forever loop, we have three if statements again. So drag three if then out, put inside a forever loop. So the first one is actually when it's touch when when it's touching uh either of the balls. So we're going to get the or. So the first thing, uh touching. So the first one is actually touching the ball, and then the second one's touching the ball too, like that. So it's touching the ball too. Okay, so we're going to change our zombie's health. By negative 100, so it will become zero. So obviously, the next if statement, it was just gonna be if zombie, which is the index of that, equals to zero. First of all, well, it die, basically. So we're going to hide. We're going to hide our zombie. Afterwards, wait for a second. And then after waiting a second, it will respond to the original location, uh, which is like the start of the line. So go to X and Y. X would be not 193. Y would be a pick of random in between, well, negative 140 to 140. Like that. Afterwards, uh, we're going to click the show. So it shows up again. And we're going to let it set its health back to a hundred. So a new, new zombie is born. Afterwards. Okay, so there's one more thing, uh, for losing the game. It's when it touch the chomper. So when it touch this chomper, we're gonna stop everything. So st stop our script inside. Yes. So stop the script. And this is how we lose the game. So basically these, this is like the code for the zombie. Um, there are actually for the zombie 2 and zombie 3, they have very similar code as the first zombie. So I'm just going to copy and play, paste for the codes. So for our second zombie, um, well basically it's just like 
pretty similar to our first zombie. So there is only a couple of things that we want to change for our second zombie. So for our second zombie, instead of like, oh, it's, it's like that, we're going to change it to 193. And then from a random height from negative 100 to 100. So the range is like slightly smaller. And then this step is just going to be a little bit faster since like the range is smaller so we don't have to move uh, in the larger range. So it's just going to be moving a little bit faster. So, and then the next thing we're going to do uh, in this code, uh, we're just going to set our zombie 2 since this is the zombie 2. Okay, we're changing everything into every single variable into zombie 2, uh, as well as like the score of that. So, drag it out. Zombie 2 equals to 0, like that. So basically that's it for our second zombie. And change it to 100, this group, yes. So, okay, I'm going to copy this code to zombie 3 again. And redo the whole thing. So for zombie 3, uh, we want our x and y like that, and then the range is slightly larger when they start their game. So negative 120 to 120, like that. And then we want it to be slow, extremely slow for this zombie. So we're just going to get the pick random that's just ranging from one step to three steps. Alright, so moving on to the next one. The only thing we have to change is only the variables. So zombie 3, zombie 3, and zombie 3. And delete the zombie 2, put the zombie 3 inside, wait one second, and we want to do the one, negative 120, and 120 again. So that's it for our zombies. Okay, so moving on to our last code, which is the balls. They both have similar Codes again, so let's code for the first ball. Okay, drag the drag out the random flag is click, and then we are going to hide our ball first. The next thing is it gonna shows up uh, when we uh, press the either the space key bar or the key two. So inside our ball, uh, we this ball only shows up when we press this. Base key bar since like, it's like associated with the chomper only. So when I receive shit, this is a message for chomper. So the next thing we're going to do after is press the space bar, we're gonna show our ball, and then we're gonna click go to chomper. So this one. And then pointing direction 90, so it's moving towards the right. And repeat until loop here. So in this repeat until, we have four conditions for this. So four of them will be, well, we're just going to put the or inside the or inside the or. So there are four conditions. So the first condition is when it's touching, oh, when it's touching the first zombie, or if it's touching second zombie, or if it's touching the third zombie, or if it's touching the edge. So there's a stopping point for our ball. If it's touching, if it's not touching either of these. Well, we're just going to move 20 steps forward and afterwards we're just going to hide our ball again and then we're going to play a sound for our ball which is laser to that. So basically that's it for uh, the first ball. So I'm going to copy and paste it on ball 2 again since it's a pretty similar condition. So uh, the only thing it changed is actually the only two things that change is when I receive shoot two, which is the broadcast message for the plant, um, it would not show in front of the chomper, it would, it would be shown in front of the plant. So that's the only change for the second ball.
So basically that's it for the game, uh, for the gameplay. Now let's try it out for that. Okay, let's try it. I'm gonna move the chomper. Okay, it makes the zombies die like that. Okay, so for my plant, I'm moving with the W and S. When I press 2, it's just a ball. And when I press 2, it's just another ball, like that. So it dies, like that. So when it touch the zombie, as you can see, the zombie's health is immediately, immediately turned to zero after the ball touches the zombie, like that. So basically that's it. That's the end of the game. Well, so that's it for today. In this tutorial, we created a plant vs zombie game with the use of scratch. Hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like our videos. Also check out these two other videos while you're waiting for the next video. Thank you. Bye.